Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts did something the other day that I, I have to focus on because no one is really talking about it. And it's so great. It's one of the most positive developments I've seen out of Hollywood in a long time. In large part, I think, because it took place outside of Hollywood. There was a piece in the New York Times. There was a long interview with Julia Roberts. And she stood up for homemakers. Julia Roberts is 54 years old now. And she addressed her long absence from rom-coms. We haven't seen big Julia Roberts rom-coms in many, many years at this point. She said, here's the thing. If I'd thought that a script was good enough, I would have done it. But I also had three kids in the last 18 years. That raises the bar even more because then it's not only is this material good, it's also the math question, the math equation of my husband's work schedule and the kid's school schedule and summer vacation. It's not just, oh, I think I want to do this. I have a sense of great pride in being home with my family and considering myself a homemaker. You go, girl. I love this. This is so, I don't just love this because Julia Roberts is exalting traditional standards and a traditional way of life. I love it because she is expressing her joy to lots of women who need to hear this. Because what she's saying is objectively true, and it is a better way of life, and it's much more conducive to happiness than what lots of women are being fed in school and by the popular culture, which is that they need to ditch having a family, put off getting married, put off having kids, possibly indefinitely, and just go work in the widget factory for some other guy until they're too old to have kids, and then they can be really regretful about that. Julia Roberts is sending a message here. And it's in the New York Times. I can't believe the New York Times let this through. That is so... Imp- I, I never want to hear again from some feminist that, look, forget about having a family. Forget about... And look, I'm not saying everyone needs to get married and have kids. There's religious life. There are other callings as well. But forget about all that. Forget about all those important, significant things in life. The most important thing to do is to go work in middle management and do spreadsheets alone in my studio apartment in some big city. That's the most important thing I can possibly do and nothing else matters. That's just a lie. I never want to hear it from them again because the the people who say that have really relatively modest careers. Julia Roberts has one of the most spectacular professional careers of any woman of her age. And she kind of gave it up. She could have gone much further. She could have done a whole lot more movies. She could have made tens of millions more dollars at least. And she didn't. She said, no, that money, that fame, that celebrity, that adulation is actually not worth anywhere near the value of having a home, having a family, having kids who love me, going on summer vacation with the kids, having, making dinner, do, going over homework with the kids. These are really basic things that we used to understand in our traditional way of life, that for all times throughout all of history and all places, certainly in our civilization and in many other civilizations as well, we have known are true. And there is a concerted effort by political radicals to upend and to deny and to pervert all of those things. Don't let them do it. You will be the victim if you let them do it. It won't be a great cause of liberation. It won't be a way to finally overcome the bourgeois, terrible oppression of the past you will be the victim. It will make your life worse. Cling, hold on to those traditional values. They are what are going to fetter us to reality and to a a flourishing way of life. Right now, go to rockauto.com. Enter Knowles in their How Did You Hear About Us box so they know that we sent you. The value of your car or pickup truck or minivan or whatever you drive has almost certainly appreciated significantly this past year. Well, take care of your automotive investment. Keep more of your money by buying the auto parts that you need to maintain and repair your vehicle at rockauto.com. Rockauto.com not only has the auto parts that you need, but they will give you a selection of trusted name brands to choose from. You pick the brakes that match how you use your vehicle, whether that's for towing, racing, or just commuting to work, which in my case would be the same thing as racing. You can get exactly what you need. Super duper easy to navigate website. So simple, even I can do it. Same price for pros and do-it-yourselfers. These guys have been with us since the very beginning of this show. We love them at rockauto.com. Head on over there right now for your auto parts and then write Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S, in their How Did You Hear About Us box so they know that we sent you.
I'm glad you like that clip. Now, ring the bell, subscribe, get all the notifications. Don't miss a single one unless YouTube doesn't send them to you, which, you know, listen, I've heard sometimes. So if you want to make sure you get all the notifications, go to the audio podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your audio podcasts for free. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show, M-I-C-H-A-E-L, K-N-O-W-L-E-S. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.